Hello, it's Friday again, and that means that we'll be, be playing some more Witcher. So let's start up the game. Boom. I do not remember where we were when we stopped last Saturday, but oh well. The dike. Oh yes, Louvarden. Ouch! That was loud. Okay, so... So... Oh, let's read this. <clears throat> the hospital, named after the prophet Lebioda, was set up in a former temple of Meliteli. To this day, a triple-bodied statue of the goddess stands inside. Nurses and novices work there, trying to help those struck by the plague. It's not a pleasant place, filled with the moans of the suffering and the stench of their excretions. Those who do not survive the disease, meaning the overwhelming majority, are thrown into a pit behind the hospital. Every once in a while, the bodies are burned to prevent the plague from spreading. Recently, the Order of the Flaming Rose placed the hospital under its protection. Wonder what that actually means. Under special protection, huh? Sounds suspicious again. No new monsters. Ooh. The Order of the Flaming Rose was established after the war with Nilfgaard by a charismatic leader, Jacques de Aldersberg, on the foundations of the deteriorating Order of the White Rose. De Aldersberg's aim was to protect the people from monsters and other evils, and to promote belief in the Eternal Fire. The Order's headquarters are located in Vizima, with numerous commandaries spread across the whole of Temeria. Okay. Quests. Yeah, so we were working on the contracts. Right, so the dog. Drowned dead. Algu. Do I have an Algol entry? Dog had just biased. It's in an alphabetical order, so no, we do not have that entry yet. What I think I'll do is I'll head to the swamp anyways, cause I'm Yeah. And get the drowned dead contract. The rat? Amazing. Really where it goes as well. Time to go back to see Coleman about my money for the job. I'll head to the swamp. Kill some wolves. Drowned dead and uh, possibly the swamp plant that Vincent was talking about. You know the captain of the guards. And uh, basically, just earn a bunch of money. <laughs> oh, barrels. Do I have enough? Yes, I have enough room. Potions? Do I have potions? Yes, I have potions. And I have a torch in, ca in case I run into the plants, which I no doubt will. And I could have sold these as well to the book merchant, but. Oh well. Now... It's how do I get to the swamp? Like the look of me. What a downpour. Sorry. No, uh, busy. Transport services at the best prices. Where do you Where go? Where do you go? I ferry people from Vizima to the swamp and back. How convenient. Right, let's go. Take me to the other side. Times are wasting. Made up your mind? I think it was five words. Ready to go? <laughs> I remember in the original game again. <coughs> um. There was a, um, 
yeah, this whole dialogue option here is just unnecessary, and they're they've patched the game. And now it's allowing me to ask, you know, how many times you're going to ask me that. Or maybe, no, maybe it's not unnecessary. But why wouldn't you want to go? Oh, let's go. How many times are you going to ask me that? To the swamp. Oh. Yeah, because in the unpatched game, the dialogue option said something different. Oh well. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Ominous. Okay, and we are at the swamp. Oh, good sir. Do you need a boat? No. Swamp. Across the lake from Vizima lies a large area of marshlands, which is home to small human communities, but also to various monsters. It's not safe there even during the day. A downer or a robot or a bloodsucker can spring from the murky water at any moment. The casual traveler should also be mindful of the misleading will of the wisps, which have a tendency to lure unwary adventurers further and further, further into the swamp, until they become mired in mud and perish. To reach the swamp, one must hire a ferryman at the dike in Vizima and take the boat across the lake. A group of lumberjacks work deep within the marshlands, making money by selling lumber to Vizima craftsmen. They are led by a dwarf named Yarin Bolt who rules the small community with an iron fist. The swamp is home to brickmakers, who make their living excavating the firing clay. Theirs is a small, secluded village, where life proceeds at its own pace. A somewhat crazed woman named Vaska leads them. Hmm. Right? Vapors, drowners, and Anyone wet seeking to cross? That's all I'll find here. Yeah. That's safe. And, uh, who are you again? Who are you? A witcher. Well, well. I thought Leo Bonhart had disposed of your kind. Never heard of him. Nor will you again. We all, in this profession, eventually meet someone better than us. What profession is that? Bounty hunter. What brings you here? Mm. Uh, I think it was the guy who wants the wolf pelts landing in, at, in the swamp so he must be the wolf guy but let's ask him about Bonhart who was Bonhart? old Leo was a legend in some ways he was like you he killed without emotion just like you would kill a a lame drowner he was the best tall, slim, and one gaze from those empty eyes could break a man. Was he a mage? No. He slew some witchers, those who riled the peasants. Magic tricks and witchers' reflexes proved useless against him. But he's dead. As they say, he hit a harder rock than he was himself. Yes. Take care, witcher. You know, he almost almost sounds like as if he's, um, you know. <clears throat> Anyways, we don't have the pelts, so... Farewell. No point in asking him about the notice. <clears throat> okay. Um... The water seem There's a dog following us. Is it? Yes, it is. Um. Okay. 
for you. Hey. Hello, son. I'm not your son, Gramps. <laughs> you guess my name. They call me Gramps around here. They call me all kinds of things. Mostly Geralt, or Scabbed Freak. Well, people exaggerate. I don't see many scabs. <laughs> no offense. None taken. But I'm likely to earn some trekking through this swamp. Yes? Looking for work. I am, actually. I need gold. I need to amass some. I'm looking for work. Ah, swords. I suspect I know the type of work you seek. Perhaps you could escort me to the chapel for my prayers. I'm old and no longer good at driving monsters off with my staff. <laughs> I'm not going to be rude to him, and I suspect... I don't remember what this does. Hmm. I might be going that way anyways. So, yeah. I was thinking about paying work, but all right, I'll take you there. Now he's going to follow us, I think. I'm hungry again. Before we go there, I think... So it's there. I guess he pointed it on our map. And that's why we know. Um, Recently we celebrated the birth of triplets. A good omen. Okay. Hmm. I'm glad we can't produce bricks. What? Why would you be... Uh, Looks like a brickmaker's village. Yeah. What was that? Let's have a chat with these people, and, um... Perhaps you'd settle down here. We could use a warrior for protection. Vizima grows and requires bricks. Druids from the grove have brought drought upon us. Um, somehow I don't think that's very likely. I'll be a barwench when I'm older. An aspiring wench. <laughs> oh gosh. An aspiring wench. Um. Yeah. More elves in the area. I fear they plan some ill. Hmm. So there's elves here as well. I'm glad we can't produce bricks. Is that... I think... yes. It's, come on. It's not there. Fine, we'll escort the guy. Because there was the thing about Berengar as well. No, not that one. Working girls wanted... Yeah, there's that one as well, but yeah, this one. I should ask the swamp dwellers about Berengar. So I need to see <sighs> Vaska. She was the leader. Is this her house? New? And there's nobody here. A traveller from distant lands. He has lost something he now seeks. What shall I call you? Vaska, the village Eldress. Geralt, Witcher, what do the villagers do? We mine clay and produce bricks. I see none working. Hard times. Speak, what do witches do? We solve problems. Want to ask something? Yeah. I guess I could... yeah. So what do you do here? 
I'll get to know her first, and then start questioning her threateningly. <laughs> you know. What do you do here? We mine clay to form bricks. We bake in ovens. It's profitable? No. Though the city grows in need of bricks, the carriers and merchants snatch most of our profit. Maybe you should move. Never. We know only brick making. Do what you will. Want to ask something? Hmm. So, yeah. Berengar? Has another witcher been here? Berengar? He has. Asking different questions about those alchemies. The alchemist Kolkstein must have sent him. Then we happened upon his gear in a clay pit, covered in blood. Thanks, Vaska. White-haired one. There were signs of fighting there, and not with monsters. He was attacked by men. Beware of flaming lizards and dry ones. I need you alive. Interesting. Okay. Well, I guess I could question her about monsters. If she'll pay me, then even better. Do you have monster problems? Indeed. Creatures have made nests in the clay pits. What are they like? As if drowned, then resurrected. Drowners. Drowners. I can finish them. We're poor folks. I can pay no more than fifty orins. Gold is gold. So... But it is risky, though. Especially with the mod installed. So... Yeah. But I need the gold. And helping them might prove useful later on. Might. That's enough. Where are they? Towards the landing, but take the other road at the fork. At its end, you'll spot our tormentors. Because I don't actually remember a whole lot. And this is... One interesting statue. Yeah, okay. Saves for me, so I don't have to worry about that. He didn't come into the house, so... He's still following me? Hello? Yeah, yeah, he is. Okay. And it's getting dark, which is not good. We might want to finish this escort, escort quest before that happens. Because, as I recall, more monsters spawn when it's dark. So these boggy holes must be clay pits. Drowners? What's this? Oh. Clay pits. This is where those lunatics work. Huh. They look normal to me. <laughs> Brickmakers pretend to be normal to strangers, yet they conceal their faith. You know those dimwits worship fish people? People believe in the strangest things. Yeah, but to worship slime-covered reptiles with bulging eyes. I, those Voddy and I can't even talk. You must communicate with them using objects. Care to elaborate? Humans communicate with fishoids by leaving objects on special altars. Each item has specific symbolic meaning and is read as an intention. The Voddy and I answer in the same manner. What kind of objects? Don't know and I don't care. You need to speak with one of the worshippers. But brickmakers don't divulge their knowledge to potential blasphemers. Hmm. That is good to know. I don't seek any drowners. And I do not like the growling. And oh, crap. This might be troublesome, actually. Hmm. I might want to drink this now. Did I... Cleansing... Let's look for a place of power. See if there's any close to the village. We might. No, actually, let's rest until morning. That might be smart. We don't want to head out at night. 
get rushed by drowners. So, take a little nap. Can we make any... No, we can't. So, rest until dawn. And... Okay. This is better. Maybe the drowners are there. This time. Say. Oh, look. Is that one of those altars? Might be. Still no drowners. Hmm. Bloodsiger. Just follow the road. And yeah, that should lead us to the altar. Was here, I think. Yep. So. Keep moving. <laughs> is he still? Yeah, he is. Following us. Let's make some hellebore. Ah, I think this is it. Yep. Come on. Oh, one of Right. Here we are. Thank you, son. I'm not your son. I like you. Visit me sometime. I'll show you my books, serve you some tea, and goulash. You're a witcher, yes? I'm another of your kind recently, but he lacked courtesy. He demanded to know about the Circle of Elements. Oh, Berengar. Must have been Berengar. Another witcher? What can you tell me about him? Well, not much, son. He wanted about asking questions, and looking like one with a sour stomach. I'm not so interested in that. Yeah, I know, I know. He feared something, or someone. Spent most of his time near the pits where those village idiots burrow in clay. Thanks, Gramps. That helps. Hmm. So, place of power. Three women. This reminds me of something. There's an altar at the base. Three women. Journal. Swamp to area. Triple bodied statue of the goddess stands inside. Skip that for now. Altar at the base. Harold mentioned. So I can put food there. Strawberry? Let's try that. Oh. What are these? Givrath Sephira, a Sephira symbolizing judgment, strength, and severity, symbolizing understanding, majesty, and glory, the kingdom. This was the one we got off the bird. The ba uh, basilisk? Was it? Maybe? And these three I got from the statue.
let's head to the clay bits. And no wait. Since we are here. The contracts. I need to find wolves and drowners. Or drowned dead, more specifically. We might try fighting a bloodsucker. See how that turns out. Hello? Bring it on. Oh! Stay away. Remember, they explode. Albers crystals? What's that? Albers crystals. She not that it? Yeah. Valuable ingredient. We can sell these. So we might actually be able to grind here for gold. As terrible as that sounds. Um, where was I? See, I'm lost already. Place of power. Oh, obelisk. Clay pits. Let's go this way. Hmm, a cave entrance. What? Oh. Now, there might be wolves in here. So let's check 